Good morning everyone! This will be our topic for today. Prepare cereals and starch dishes. So, simulan na natin. First of all, let's talk about cereals. Sabi dito, cereals is any grass cultivated from the edible component of its grain, composed of endosperm, germ, and bran. So, any kind of edible component na nakukultivate mo sa isang grass. For example, rice, maize, durum, and wheat. So, yan yung mga example ng cereals. And then, let's go to the starch. What is starch? Alam ko madalas yung naririnig yan. Pero alamin natin yung tunay na meaning niya. Sabi dito, and, or it says, starch is a carbohydrate extracted from agricultural raw material. For example, potatoes guys. Ibabad mo yun sa water, may may extract yan na pink na content, and then salain mo ng ano, clean uh, cloth. Ma eh, makukuha mo yung starch niya, magkakaroon ng para siyang harina na Uh, uh, tawag dito harina siya na ano siya mabilis siyang ma-dissolve ganyan yung nasa right side ng picture yan yung itsura niya so globally guys ang laki ng consume ng starch tsaka ng carbohydrates natin and also the cereals so yan yung mga widest consume food na na-encounter natin o na ko-consume natin kada araw uh, not just in Asia but all over the world so ano, ano ba yung native starch It says that insoluble, ibig sabihin, incapable of being dissolved. Yan yung native. So, incapable of being dissolved, guys. So, once extracted, native starch is a white, tasteless, and odorless powder that is insoluble in cold water or in alcohol, guys, even in alcohol, ha, which is used widely in the food and paper industry five primar primarily for binding and thickening purpose. So, yun yung dahilan kung ba't nila ginagamit. And then, this one is the modified starch. Nagka-contain siya ng chemical, uh, physical, and enzymatic process. Yan. Minomodify eh. Nagka-create siya ng modified. It's, it's different characteristic and used widely in the food. Paper and textile and oil. Ito yung sinabi ko kanina. Uh, even sa pharmaceutical, nagagamit din yung mga modified starch. So, may iba't iba siyang process. And then, how it's made. Ito, kung paano siya gawin. Kita niyo dun sa presentation. So, meron namang European starch industry. <clears throat> Sabi dito, during the starch extraction process, the European starch industry valorizes all components of the raw material, extracting also fibers and plant-based proteins. So, ito yung molecular breakdown niya. Kita nyo naman. Ayan. Scientific. Nutritional value ng starch. Kita nyo. It has protein, fat, tannin, ash, fiber, calcium, iron, and zinc. So, maganda din yung nutritional content na makukuha natin from the starch. So, kita nyo naman dito, energy, carbohydrate, protein and fiber. Tapos, as well as micronutrients, which is the vitamin E, B vitamins, magnesium and zinc. So, ano ba yung health benefits nung mga yon Unang-unang, carbohydrates. Main source of energy. Protein naman is the building blocks. While vitamin E is also an antioxidant and nag-help daw to slow down process that damages cells. So, napaka-healthy guys. B vitamins. They help the body convert food into energy. Metabolism yon. Create new blood cells and maintain healthy skin, uh, brain, and other body tissues. So, this one is magnesium naman and then zinc. So, sobrang healthy ng starch dishes and cereal. So, maganda mag-consume tayo ng daily. Uh, once a day, kahit ganon. So, the uses of starch, nagagamit siya sa beverage. Confectionary, even mga chocolates, guys, nagagamit din siya. Uh, processed food like jam, pampalapot, nilalagyan yan eh, starch. Dessert and dairy product. Yan, yan yung French macaroon, shortcakes, ice cream, leche, iba-iba kung anong gamitin. Kung saan mo siya gagamitin, magagamit. Bakery products, gumagamit din yan. And then, methods of cooking. Ayun yung iba't ibang klase. Boiling, uh, types of preparation naman yan, nagagamit siya sa sauces, as pampalapot, sa, gra sa gravy din, cake filling, sa pie, sa bread, pastries, puddings, and kakanin. So, napakadaming gamit ng starch sa buhay natin. Also, in methods of cooking, uh, yun nga, yung methods of cooking nung, ano, nung starch, use a double boiler, depende kung anong starch dish ang lulutuin mo. 
pwede ding boiling process gaya nga nung oatmeal ganyan uh, fireless cooker uh, iba iba cooking cereals and fireless cooker uh, dry heat guys ang dami ang daming process and then let's go to the safety and hygienic practices syempre pag nagpe-prepare ka ng starch dishes dapat kompleto yung chef's uniform mo para syempre ah uh, yung isa pa guys, aside sa pagiging kompleto ng uniform mo, hindi babagsak yung buhok mo tapos mapoprotektahan yung kamay mo yung sleeves uh, mapoprotektahan sa mga talisik ng maiinit na substance uh, ganun din yung sanitation mo sa kitchen dapat maganda, malinis uh, yan nga guys and then may proper garbage disposal ka uh, isa pa, cover mo yung food properly once na tapos ka ng gamitin or i-refrigerate mo So, factors to consider in presenting starch and cereal dishes. Ito yung mga dapat i-consider na bagay. Unang-una is the plating. Sabi dito, it is a way to introduce flavors that work well together and present them in a unique, in a unique style. And then, sa perspective naman ng management, tataas yung sales. Kasi the more na maganda ang plating mo, the more na magiging mahal yan or magiging attractive sa mga guests. Tingnan nyo naman yung plating dyan, napakaganda ng presentation. So, and very artistic, and buhay na buhay yung kulay. The color is vibrant. And then, the importance of garnishing food, lalo na sa mga starch and cereal dishes natin. Sabi dito, if you can eat it, it doesn't belong to the plate. So, yung ilalagay mo is something na makakapag-enhance dun sa dish. And then, there are few exceptions naman, like skewers, Uh, specialty utensils, yung may, may mga appetizer na nilalagay sa ceramic spoon. So, may exception pa rin. Not always na, pag naglagay ka ng hindi nakakain, negative na yun. Hindi, may exception pa rin yan. So, garnishes should always enhance the primary ingredients. So, if the garnish doesn't enhance the flavor of your primary ingredients, that it doesn't belong. So, dapat daw, yung ipanggagarnish mo dun sa dish is something na makakapagpasarap pa o ma-enhance yung flavor ng main dish mo. And then there should always be contrasting colors. Yung makakapagbigay ng ano ng uh, ng buhay na kulay gaya ng paglalagay ng herbs, paglalagay ng uh, basil, yun nga herbs na rin, paglalagay ng iba't ibang klase ng uh, buhay na kulay dun sa dish mo. Pero pinaka-advisable dun is the herbs. Yun lang guys, thank you and God bless. Until our next lesson.